All right, team. So here we have a massive amount of data in a table cleverly named data. And we're working on organizing all of these fields by customer. Here we have total revenue organized by customer and period using a structured reference. And if we wanted to look at all of these fields, we would have to rewrite this formula each time. But there has to be a better way. There has to be a more flexible way to do this. So let's look at a way to create indirect structured references, which basically allows us to create an input for this formula. So that we can better visualize what I'm talking about, let's look at it all on a single tab. Here we have a subset of the fields from our very large data set. And the formula we were using previously, which just calls the Excel table and then references the total revenue column inside the sum function. So you get the sum of all revenue. Now, if we want to look at every field above without rewriting this formula each time, we need to get a little creative. First, we're going to use an index plus match formula to return the field based on the number next to it. So input index, and then we'll select the array of fields. Next match, and we'll select the input adjacent to this cell. And finally, our lookup array. Close print, close print again. And now the value in D17 will change based on the value in cell B17. And next we will rewrite the formula using the indirect function. So input equals sum, next indirect. And the indirect function works by turning text into a cell reference. And Excel uses quotation marks to indicate the beginning and end of a text string and an ampersand to combine text strings. So if we want to recreate data total revenue, we'll first input quotation marks, then type data, quotation marks, ampersand to combine text strings, quotation marks for the open bracket, then an ampersand to connect this to the value in D17, and quotation marks with a close bracket. Close print, close print again. So Excel now interprets this as the exact same formula as the formula below. But the difference is we now have this input. If we want to look at the number of shipments, for example, input one, and we would have to reformat to get rid of the currency, but you get the idea. We can work through all of these fields very quickly. Total weight hauled, total hauling revenue, total other revenue, and finally total revenue. Now this may seem simple, but it creates substantially more flexibility in the formulas we will use to analyze our data set, and it allows us to do it so much faster. In the course titled Company Data Analysis in Excel, available on asimplemodel.com, I demonstrate how to apply this across periods using different variables. The course content goes beyond data analysis and also describes the questions that an analyst would want to bring to the management team's attention. If you're interested, please be sure to check it out. All right, team, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.